Welcome to Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, markets rallied after Apple said they will make a major announcement with the Dow Industrials rising 250 points and the Nasdaq Composite gaining 2.6%. On Tuesday, the consumer price index for September rose two tenths of a percent on top of the prior month's four tenths of a percent gain. Markets fell for the first time in five sessions after Johnson & Johnson halted its coronavirus vaccine trial after reporting an adverse event. Earnings season kicked off with some major banks exceeding expectations. However, Delta Airlines did worse than expected and Apple unveiled its first 5G phone. The Dow Industrials closed 157 points lower and the Nasdaq Composite fell one-tenth of a percent. On Wednesday, the producer price index for September rose four-tenths of a percent on top of the prior month's three-tenths of a percent gain. Markets fell again after Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said that getting a stimulus package passed before the election will be difficult and that the White House and Congress are still wide apart on certain issues. Bank stocks lost as Bank of America and Wells Fargo reported disappointing quarterly results. On Thursday, the EIA Petroleum Status Report for the week ending October 9th saw crude oil inventory decline 3.8 million barrels, while the Empire State Manufacturing Index for October declined 6.5 points to 10.5. Import prices for September rose 3 tenths of a percent, while export prices rose 6 tenths of a percent, and jobless claims for the week ending October 10th saw initial claims rise 53,000 to 898,000. Markets fell as coronavirus infections continued to rise both in Europe and the United States. 10 year treasuries yielded 0.73%, and West Texas intermediate crude fell to $41.01 a barrel. On Friday, industrial production for September fell six tenths of a percent, and retail sales for September rose an unexpectedly strong 1.9 percent. At the open, markets gained modestly on the news. This is Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.